Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. My name's Erica, and my channel is all about cruelty-free products. So I'm so, so, so excited for today's video. Um, I bought this yesterday at Ulta, and I tried to walk away from it like five times, and I was like, no, I just need to get it. <laughs> so this is today's product that we're gonna be trying out. This is the Yes to Coconut DIY Powder to Clay Mask for, oh. It's ultra hydrating for dry skin, which is good for me because I live in a very dry climate. Um, and it says energizing coffee. So hopefully it'll make my skin look beautiful. I loved it because I have a serious coffee addiction or I guess just a caffeine addiction in general. And so I saw it and it has coffee beans all over it. Um, and it comes in a little coffee cup. It's so cute or like a little plastic mug. And I just thought it was super cute and I wanted to try it out. So I haven't even opened this yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. They made it Erica proof. Cool. So obviously it comes in this little like, it's supposed to be a coffee bag. Um, and it has the little thing, the little, little plastic um, thing with the wires in it. And it says, oh my gosh, it says yes to coffee on the side. I love that. I really hope this works because it's super adorable. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So it has the instructions on the back of the package. And so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Oh, it has, um, it has suggestions suggestions as to what to mix with it. So if you can put coconut water, yogurt, honey, avocado, green tea, or almond milk. So we're just gonna do the regular mask today. Um, maybe another time we'll try it with um, one of those items in it. Okay, how to use. Open bag and place powder in the cup to line one. And add water to line two. Okay. I'm dying here. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, it comes with a Ziploc bag. It's not just like a regular plastic bag. You can reseal it so you can reuse it. So that's awesome. So we're going to open up this powder. That's a lot of tracks. And it looks like flour. And we are going to, I've never done one of these like DIY, DIY. They're not like super, I mean, it's already made. You're basically just mixing it with water. I've never done one of these powdered masks before. I have some of them that I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to bring them on the channel at some point. But let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to fill it up with powder to line one. This is a little hard to do. The line one and the line two are super close together. Okay, so that looks about right. Yeah. Add water to line two, so we're going to take this water. Oh, let's, uh, I just spilled some of this powder, so let's seal that back up. Alright, take this water. And fill it to line two. And now it's going to have my spit in it, yay. Which is super good for your skin, duh. Oh, that's all way past line two. Oh, well. Can we put tea in it? Can we do tea instead? <laughs> so, then it says using the other side. Oh, using the spoon mix to create a clay. Using the other side of the spoon, apply an even layer to face, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, and hairline. Relax for 10 minutes, 20 for an even deeper treatment. Remove with a damp face cloth, then rinse with warm water. If slight redness after removing, take a mask break for a couple days. I don't need redness on my face, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay, so we put too much water in here, so let's add a little bit more of the powder. And I did bring this um, brush, because this is what I usually use to put masks on, but it says to use a spoon, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Mm, it smells like coffee, but also like it doesn't smell that good. <laughs> it smells slightly like coffee and slightly just like, I don't know not smelling good skincare. Oh yeah, I apparently put way too much water in here, so we're gonna have to put a little more powder in there. Okay, it's starting to thicken up. It's like all sticking to the spoon, so I gotta scrape it off here. All right, there we go. We kind of have a mask texture now. It's kind of lumpy, to be honest. So I don't know if that means it's not gonna work that well. I don't know, maybe I just need to mix it more. I don't think all the lumps are gonna get out though. Maybe if you like sifted it beforehand, that would be better. Okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. So let's go ahead and put this shit on our face. Okay. Please ignore my little zit. Please, let's cover that shit up. All right. 
So the spoon paddle spatula thing is actually working pretty well. Kind of digging it. Oh shit, I just dripped it all over me. Okay. My legs getting a mask too today. Oh man, that already feels moisturizing. You definitely want to put like very little on the spoon because otherwise it'll drip off. And I'm glad I made too much because if I had made the amount that it says to do in the instructions, um, it probably wouldn't have covered my face to be honest. Or it would have been a really, really thin layer. Ow, it's kind of like warming my face. I mean, not like ow, but like this, but it is kind of burning a little bit. Not like burning, burning, but warming. And it did say that um, there might be redness afterwards. So I'm gonna hope that this is normal and hope that I'm not getting an allergic reaction and that's gonna totally fuck up my face. Okay, that's kind of a mess, <laughs> but we're gonna just go with it. All right, so let's go ahead and set a timer for 10 minutes because it is really like starting to really warm my face. Um, and I don't want to leave it on for 20 because I'm hoping that I'm not getting an allergic reaction. So while we're waiting, I want to read a little bit about this. So obviously I already said it's supposed to be ultra hydrating. It says it has coconut extract, a tropical moisturizer, and then it also has coffee to help stimulate the blood circulation, which reduces inflammation and tightens skin. So those are the things that should happen to my face right now. So that whole coffee for blood circulation, that might be why my face is feeling warm. And it does say that it might give you a little bit of redness. So maybe then my face will match my freaking shoulders. <laughs> uh, I went to a drag race the other day and I was out in the sun in a tank top for a very long time. Actually, not even that long, just like a few hours. And I got super sunburned. I was all sunburned on here too, but um, that went away a little faster than my shoulders did. So Yes to Ink is a Leaping Bunny certified and approved brand. Um, I don't know if they're certified by PETA. They probably are if they're certified by Leaping Bunny. It seems like most of the companies that are certified by Leaping Bunny are also certified by PETA, but not vice versa. <laughs> It seems like a lot more brands are certified by PETA than are certified by Leaping Bunny. And I think that that's because it's a lot easier to get certified by PETA. They did pay the fee to have the little Leaping Bunny logo on there. They don't have the PETA logo. And it does say that this product is good for 12 months after opening it. It also says that it's made with 99% natural ingredients. I have no idea what that means. I see that a lot and I have no idea what that means. But I do recognize all of the ingredients on here and most of them are not completely unpronounceable words. So I take that as a good sign. So while we're just sitting here waiting, I just want to talk about something that's been bothering me a little bit lately. And that is that when I email a company, sometimes I'll do that. And I kind of gave up on it recently because I've been getting such terrible responses. Um, and I'll email a company and ask about their cruelty-free policies and I'll ask, you know, the typical questions. Do you, are your products sold in China? Um, do you have a third party testing on animals for you? And all, all those like typical questions that you ask. Um, and a lot of the times I'll get a reply that only answers half the questions. And to me, that is so suspicious. I don't know, like maybe I'm just paranoid and um, not trusting of people, but um, to me, if I send a, um, if I send an email and ask very specific, very answerable questions, um, and very straightforward questions, I feel like I should get a response to those questions. And I feel like it's poor customer service to not answer those questions and, or only answer half those questions. Um, and a lot of the times I'll get those cut and paste answers. And you know, that's just a customer service representative who's trained to do that. So this is just something that's been bothering me lately. So let me know in the comments section below if you've ever had that kind of experience and what you think about it and how that made you feel. So I hear my timer going off downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and real quick wash all this crap off my face and I will come back and let you guys know how my skin feels. Um, hopefully it isn't all red, <laughs> but we have been warned so I can't be mad, you know? Okay, I'm back. So let's see, what did this say it was gonna do again? It said it was gonna moisturize. Do I feel moisturized? I do feel moisturized. I do want to go put on moisturizer right now, but just for a minute so that I can tell with the mask that I'm not going to. Um, and it does, I do feel moisturized, but I 
do definitely feel cleansed as well. So I feel like the oils are really gone from my skin. Um, and I feel like I need to put moisturizer on. Um, I'm like touching my face all over. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Um, coffee helps stimulate blood circulation. I did think my face looked a little red at first in the mirror, but looking at it on camera, um, A, it went away in the mirror pretty quickly, it seemed like. And then looking at it on camera, it doesn't look red, um, which is good, except for my nose, which is always red. <laughs> Um, and it does feel, my skin feels very plump, I want to say. And maybe that's the moisturization. It doesn't necessarily feel tighter. Um, maybe like in a little, uh... no, I take that back. It does feel, it does feel a little tighter. Um, when I move, try to move my face like that, <laughs> it does feel tighter. But not like Botox tighter. Not that I've ever gotten Botox, but I assume that it would be way more intense than this. So I'm really happy that my face doesn't look red. I am happy with the results. It's not the best mask I've ever used. It's not amazing. But this was like 15 or 16 bucks, I think, at Ulta. And so for the price point and for the fact that I still have a ton left, I could probably make at least three more masks with this. It doesn't say on here how many you can make as far as I can tell. But I do feel like you would get a good amount of use out of this. Actually, you know what? I think you would make a lot more than that because I did use a lot. I have a lot left over because I had made extra because I put too much water in. So really, I think, and I put a lot on my face. Actually, the whole thing didn't dry out. You might have noticed um, because I did put it on pretty thick. And so it didn't dry out a lot. And there were like some clumps in it on my face. Um, but I don't think that that affected the... Um, the results of the mask overall but I would recommend sifting this before using it or mixing it a little better <laughs> it mentions these things on the back I probably have all of those things um, and could try each one of them so let me know if you want to see me try coconut water yogurt honey avocado green tea or almond milk or just mix all of them that would be fun so do I think this is worth it for the price point yes I think it was worth it um, and it's fun I personally think that I prefer the pre-mixed masks, the ones that are already a clay. Um, this is good because it won't dry out. Sometimes I've bought masks and they say they're good for 12 months and then they dry out in six. So um, that's a little disappointing. But this, you don't have that problem. So I think if you use masks very rarely, or like me, you have a hundred different masks in your bathroom and you use a different one every night, this could be a good idea because it won't dry out. The smell of this isn't great but most of my masks don't really smell all that great anyway and it doesn't smell like it smells like not high-end skincare it smells you know high-end skincare sometimes has a different smell than uh drugstore cheaper stuff and this has like a cheap smell to it i don't know how to describe that but it does i don't know if that makes sense to you guys it's a familiar smell and it has a hint of coffee to it okay so that's it for today's video i hope you liked it i hope it was helpful for you if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about cruelty-free products, please subscribe to my channel. There's a little button right below this video that says subscribe. Please click it. If you have any questions, comments, or random thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!